Uh, my, both my parents loved folk music. Uh, Theodore Bickel was a big, uh, uh, they had his records and they played those. But they mostly loved classical music and opera. So they brought me to, I think it was nine when they brought me to my first opera at that Metropolitan Opera House. And, uh, my dad would, uh, if we didn't, when we, at dinner it was the news, but otherwise it was classical music on the radio. And my, some new piece, orchestral piece would come on and my dad would say, a quarter to the first person to identify the composer. And, um, I usually won those, except if it was the triumphal march from Aida, my brother would hear trumpets and he goes, trumpets means triumphal march from Aida. <laughs> so before the, the second note would come out, he would go, triumphal march from Aida. So he would win the quarter then, but otherwise, uh, I usually won those, so he was really, my dad was encouraging our interest in, in classical music. Uh, so it was, who's the composer, uh, who's the singer? He was, had a great ear. He would hear one note of, uh, of an opera singer singing, and he knew who it was. So he'd give us a little longer to try and figure out who it was. Uh, so I thought that was you know, pretty tough on us, and then I found out a friend of mine who came from an incredibly musical family, uh, Amy Cooper Smith. It was a given who the composer was and who the orchestra was. They had to identify the conductor. <laughs> it was that intense, that uh, high level of, of music. So, but in my family, it was okay. If you can figure out the composer and the, and the piece, that was, that was good.